see God built the body in the resurrection of Jesus. Do you see how even that resurrected body declares the right God's righteousness towards human beings? Sure. Because you see how that resurrected body is a human being that God come and raised up from the dead and clothed with immortality? What does that tell us about God? That that's what he did to a guy who had our sin and our death on us. Doesn't that tell us about God's righteousness towards us? Yeah. To conquer what's causing us suffering and to preserve our lives in him? Yeah. See how that, that body is constantly declaring God's righteousness to the world? Yes. Constantly declaring that God is going to bring an end to the death and the corruption in the earth right. and that he doesn't want you to perish. And so he's built up a body that's been pitched within and without with his glory and his immortality and the fire of his life. And he wants to clothe upon you with that body. Mm -hmm. Do you see how that preaches God's righteousness to yes. the world? Yeah. Same thing that was going on with Noah when he was building the ark. Right. Noah built an ark, God built a body. Yeah. Noah saw God's eyes were filled with grace towards humans, saw that he was grieved at their suffering, and he was going to bring an end to it. Jesus saw God's eyes were filled with grace towards humans, and he was grieved at their suffering, and he was going to bring an end to it. Jesus said, tear this body up, down, tear this temple down, and I will rebuild it in three days. Mm -hmm. Jesus built a body. He's raised up with a body. He's just like Noah, and he's telling us we can get into that body, and this body doesn't perish. This body can withstand the fire of God's life. This body is actually baptized in the fire of God's life. He doesn't want you to perish. He wants to clothe you in immor immortality. Right. That's declaring the righteousness of God to preserve us. Yeah. You go read Noah building the ark. God tells Noah to pitch it within and without. You can go find those words. You know, when you look that word up in the Hebrew, it's kafar. Kafar. Do you know that's the same word used for atonement? Yes. <clears throat> nope. You said that. Nope. It's the same word. Same word. God pitched us within and without <laughs> through Christ. <laughs> the atonement. Right? We believe on Christ and we're pitched within and without. What atonement? He conquered our death. Right. He sat a human at his right hand, clothing. He made everything that was crooked straight. Mm -hmm. We can become pitched within and without by the work of what he's done. Amen. That will end our suffering and preserve our lives from the end that sin brings. Yeah.